Hi guys. This is yard work day because we have like a meadow on our hands. I have to mow the lawn something fierce. Look at though, like how patchy our yard is. It's like all flat there and then long grass. And then, <laughs> well, this shot up after all of the rain. So we need to work on cutting it all down today because uh, Piper can barely get through it and it's crazy. So that's one of our plans today. We'll mow the lawn and do some weed whacking. On top of that, there's some cleanup around like the front of the house. I wanna address this bed. A lot of it, oh look at these guys, the buttercups are so beautiful. Uh, there's peonies and columbine, but like there's like weeds mixed in with our lilies here that I wanna clear out. This bush seems to be doing beautifully. I don't think I need to really trim it, but there is like some weeds growing out of it clean up along the edge address this this is a mess I hate this bush it comes back every year it's just a mess of weeds I can't wait to get rid of it clean up the front of the house I want to paint those numbers so that you can actually see them because one is shiny and gold and the other ones are like dull and rusty so I'll just paint them and then my flower garden I started last week we uh always do a wildflower garden for the bees every year so I packed it all out it's a nice big area and it's all wildflower seeds ranging from cosmos to zinnias to marigolds to um, impatience to daisies to random wildflower mix to milkweed butterfly mix so I'm excited to see what grows this year. It's, I always do it a little different every year, so we'll see how that turns out. I also need to continue to work on this part. I think I can probably just take the mower in here though to clear that out or the weed whacker. And then what I wanna do is like a half of a circle of sunflower seeds. And when you do that, when the sunflowers grow high enough with the stakes, it creates like a room and you have like a sunflower room. So that's another thing going around and checking to make sure there's no poison ivy underneath all the trees we have a ton of poison ivy here in our yard and it's always annoying to try to handle and hack out but i gotta do it because i don't need no poison ivy in my life so we're gonna go over that look at all of these like fallen over dandelions that have just bloomed and have become nothing it's crazy. The whole yard's crazy. And it's just been so busy, it's been hard to address and the weather has just let it do its thing. Then on top of that, what we're going to try to do today, uh, yeah, it's a pretty ambitious list already. So we'll see, but I need to get topsoil for my garden bed so that I can get started with the veggie garden on that. Um, we, hi, say hi. Hello, hi. How's everybody doing? Yeah, hi. Um, and then these guys, they're gonna want a free range at some point today, so I probably should do that. Dusty. But this little coop, we wanna prep for the babies in the basement because they are definitely big enough, I think, to go outside in here. So we just gotta prep the inside and get it going. Eventually, I want this to connect to this because I want them to all mingle together and kind of pick where they wanna sleep. But. but first I need them to kind of keep getting warmed up to each other. You have to introduce them at night and I'm just not ready to sign up for any of that today. So baby steps. Um, let's see, what else? Around the pool needs to be cleaned up. Uh, this bush is trying to take over my beautiful tree. Gotta cut that all down, get it out of here, spray for any weeds or anything like that. The flower boxes, uh, it's time for me to address those and plant my morning glories. Uh, get rid of some of this stupid ivy that keeps poking through the lattice. Those pool noodles, I'm not touching those. Kevin's gotta touch those because there's most definitely a very large spider in there. I'm sure of it. 
and I don't want any part of it. But I don't want them there like that because that's gross. And, um, you know, start clearing off the pool. We have water uh, over the rainy season starting to, like, help us fill it up just because I don't, I don't really want to pay $300 to fill a pool with water. So we'll use nature and get rid of all of these leaves. Eventually I'm going to be planting orange flowers in there this year because uh, of our orange party. We do an annual orange party coming in July. I'll do a ton of videoing for that. But yeah, last year was banana. So I did like yellow flowers in there. It was really beautiful. Probably not gonna get those flowers today. We'll see how ambitious I feel. There's a long list, but uh, yeah, I will keep you posted with all of the corrections. <laughs> things are shaping up all the boxes are cleared out all the ivy that was sticking out I cleared except under there we already talked about that that's a heavy job all of these cleared out the porch looking clear also did it over here cleared out looks good attacked all of these bushes look at this I am exhausted and filthy but I got rid of that darn bush that was taking over everything cleared it right out I look like this now it's not my best look but it's the look you got so it looks so much better now we have to address the front garden beds and I think after that I'm calling it quits oh he also got the coop ready Let's um, let's go review the coop, and hopefully that ladder is good enough for them to get up on. But look at it! So there's some room up here, and then down here. Very exciting. I don't know how they get up here other than I guess fly over there. Pretty exciting.
exhausted. But it looks so much better. And now we are going to go and get the chicks and bring them outside to the new coop. So we're putting the girls into the coop, the little babies. And I owe you guys some names. I had a long list of names that I did with a bunch of friends and um, I lost it, so I don't know. I'll try to remember them. And I might not even be able to name everybody right now because I don't think I have a ton. So we'll just kind of think of it as we go. This one does have a name. So this sweet girl is Precious. Precious is a bantam, so she's a little girl, but she is just so calm and sweet, so we are naming her Precious. Oh, she doesn't want to get off my arm because she's scared. One of these, I can't tell the difference between them. Um, they're Orpingtons. Uh, one of them is named Cheddar, the naughty one that flies out all the time. Uh, I just don't know which one. No, you can handle it. You're okay. You're okay right there. Baby. Baby is a mix between Americana and Silky. And she has feathered feet and is super cute. Oh, Precious has flown back into the bin. Go on, go on, go on. All right. I have no idea. Um, probably an old lady name, maybe like Flana. One of these, they're scaredy cats. I, uh, they are golden lace wine adults, so I think they're the bigger version of Precious. They're cute, uh, but they're very, very skittish. This is a cute little hawk baby. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna name her yet. But sure scaredy wine a -dote. Haven't totally come up with a name yet. I'm really sad I lost that list. And my last bard rock. A clue what I'm gonna name everyone or how I'm going to distinguish. I'm still kind of trying to learn their behaviors and all of that. And they are kicking all of these shavings out at me and on me. This is the first time in the coop in here. No idea if they're going to figure out how to go down the ramp. But this is the other side. This is the run. Pretty big for right now, their sizes. I just gotta teach them how to come down this ladder. And we'll you did it! I think! Hey! Hey! Good job! Good job! Good
right, so we have decided on the names for these guys. Up front and center, this is Baby. Precious. We have this one. This is Rebecca. We have Cheddar. My Cheddar. Hello. Oh, they're going back outside. Well, shoot. This one here, Flana. Flana. Machi. This black and orange one. Machi. Baby. Flana. Bochi. This little guy, Bochi. Rebecca's drinking from the bucket. The two yellows over there, we have Cheddar and Nia. The two black and oranges are Machi and Julia. The two white and blacks are Rebecca and Flana. The lighter one is Flana. And then there's Baby. And now to name these guys. So, Muffy is Mama. Sir Muffy. You may have noticed that I have a chick that is handicapped. Now, she's eating and drinking just fine. There are no issues other than the training of her leg. She is not in any pain. She's just small and sassy and gets around just fine. So this, Mama, I'm trying to see if it's over here. Okay, goodness gracious. She's just very dramatic. Hey. This is Gimpy. Hi, it's okay. Shh. This is Gimpy. Gimpy is very mother dependent. Mother is very nervous always about Gimpy. So this is Gimpy. You can tell her leg, unfortunately, is backwards almost. But she's not in any pain, I promise. Okay, all right, I'm giving her back. Gimpy Muffy. Over here, this one. Hi, this is Beans. Hi, Beans. Yeah, hi. This one here. All right, all right, chew it, chew it, chew it. This one here is Janet. Hello, Janet. Janet, yes. And then, one of our hybrids' eggs ended up under Muffy. And you will tell here that she's very feathered and different. She's not as fluffy. Okay, we calm him down. Not as fluffy. So this is Matilda. This is Blondie's daughter. Because she's got the full feathering, not like the fluff. Some fluff, but not much fluff. So this is Matilda. Muffy, Gimpy, Matilda, Beans, and Janet. 